Hello everyone, welcome back to the home series on the County Line map. Today we've been hired by a farmer to haul two of his excavators from a repair shop over to his farm. The setup for today consists of a 2020 Freightliner Cascadia Sleeper and a Rogers TVT 35 foot. I just stopped here at the local KC store to grab a few snacks. Let's hop on the inside here, take a quick look at the inside, and then we'll head on out. I'm really excited to be behind the wheel here of a Freightliner. There's not too many here in Farms, so not too much love for the Freightliner brand. And I thought this would be the perfect time to get behind the wheel. This thing looks pretty cool here. I did stay the night in this uh, since I came here into the county line town. Let's go over to the repair shop and get the excavators picked up. Now the story is a farmer called me and said his semi truck broke down and instead of renting out his truck he just hired us uh, since he is busy uh, getting going on uh, preparing everything for harvest season. I'm really excited to be back here with the whole series. It's been quite a long time since the previous one, and I really do enjoy this series. I've been doing weekly hauls in American Truck Sim, but I really do like uh, hauling in farms, and we can load everything up. It's just such a cool game uh, to do things like this. We just arrived here now. I think they're around back over here. Yeah, they are. So we'll get them loaded up. Wow, two excavators. He did say one was a bit newer than the other one, and that uh, we'll uh, get them both loaded up. Now, a 35 foot trailer here is a little bit uh, small for two excavators but I don't think we'll have a problem let's get those beacon lights going here and also just the hazard lights Wow, this Freightliner looks so uh, cool here. I'm not a big uh, person who uses bright colors but I will have to say this orange looks amazing on the truck as well so it looks like we have a Volvo, a pretty new excavator here, and we also do have this older one. I'm not sure exactly what brand this is, but since this is the bigger one, I would prefer this to be over the axles. Let's get this one loaded up first. And let's get the uh, arm raised up there, and uh, I don't think we could close the door. It looks to be uh, tightly secured. Otherwise, I don't really want the door flying open on us and getting damaged here. But let's hop here on the first person. We really want to fold this up as well. Yeah, we should be good to go there. Now I have done quite a lot of hauling videos here in the past and I really do enjoy this aspect of the game and soon we'll be hauling uh, quite a bit of farming equipment as well. Oh yeah, that will actually fit pretty good. Uh, look at that fitment guys, this pretty much fits right over the tongue and that is good to go. Now I am a big fan here of this trailer, really do like the ground clearance on it, look at that, two, uh, two and a half feet uh, and uh, we do have these small ramps here, look at just how strong these ramps are, that's pretty big and that looks awesome here and one awesome trailer. Let's hop here in the Volvo, now this thing looks pretty new and I really do like it quite a lot, looks like it does have quite a lot of animations as well which is awesome. Oh yeah, we definitely have foot pedals, everything like that. Wow. Uh, now the farmer did say he was using these to do some work and uh, he just decided to buy them because he has lots of excavation work uh, to do with drainage at his fields and a lot of other things as well. Right, so as we get this uh, kind of uh, up here, we do actually have to get it rotated around as well and we'll have to kind of do that. So let's see, a little bit further, just want to clear the ramps. I think, actually, let's get the entire track right there. Seems to be good. Perfect. And let's get the uh, ramp folded down. Now, this can actually be strapped down there, which is pretty neat. I don't think we'll do that just because of the fact uh, that we can't strap down the other one. And that would probably look a bit odd with only one uh, strap down. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how it is down below. Uh, my day has been pretty great. And if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. And we'll get this lowered down here. Now, I do get a few comments uh, saying not to put it lower like this. But we have to do it for clearance with power lines, everything like that. And we can't have a high center of gravity that could roll it over. And you guys can actually see we could put a strap or two up there. But I don't think we won't. Wow, that is one awesome trailer fully loaded with excavators. All right, let's head out of town here and head over to the farmer's uh, area. I think it's probably going to be probably about a half hour drive here for us. Now, like I have touched upon, I'm a big fan of all these semi-truck brands, especially ones like this Freightliner looks so cool here. And this thing looks awesome, especially in this color. 
Now I do have the GPS all set up here, so we should be good to go with that. And I think we are going to be taking the turn coming up here to the left. And here it is. So it's going to be a little bit of a drive out in uh, kind of the uh, middle of nowhere uh, going through farm fields. But that's also uh, kind of nice about hauling here on the county line map. Now I am just finishing up the last few things here for the farming series and you guys should be seeing a video later this week, more than likely Thursday afternoon, uh, we will be with that which should be awesome. Look at this trailer load, that looks so awesome, really did a great job uh, loading up today. Now this Freightliner here has a full air cab, air suspension, and it is also pretty nice. Now it would be pretty cool uh, to get the Tesla Semi here in the game. Let me know if you guys have seen that. I I'm a big fan of what Tesla's mission is, and I think getting maybe even the Cybertruck and Farm Sim would be awesome uh, to tow some farm equipment and some trailers. Looks like a pretty quiet little uh, farm road here down through the uh, kind of country area, which is awesome. Looks like we are coming up here on a farm, but that isn't it. I think it's actually going to be the uh, farm over there uh, to our right. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for me, please let me know. I really do enjoy using your feedback. Uh, here to make videos for the channel and you guys do come up with some pretty neat ideas that definitely are a lot of fun here to record so we'll make this turn taking it a bit wide and went up a little bit on uh, the grass area there but we did clear the sign which was good we definitely don't want to be uh, taking out signs as we're trying to take turns Now I do want to do more hauling videos here, maybe every other week at the uh, latest. I really do enjoy hauling here in the game. It's kind of like American Truck Sim, uh, but in Farming Sim. Now we could try hauling in GTA 5 as well. I think I did a video or two, but we could actually get semi uh, trucks and low boys now. So I think that would be a pretty neat video as well. This Freightliner though is doing a really good job here. I definitely want to use more Freightliners and farm them. There's actually a day cab uh, Cascadia as well. So maybe we'll have to put that to work on another hauling video. And I also want to do some hauls with pickup trucks and gooseneck trailers and things like that as well. But it looks like we are just about to arrive here now. He did ask us uh, to kind of drop it off in uh, one of the uh, farm sheds. We'll just have to kind of figure out which shed he was talking about. And I do see a few here. So we'll definitely have to take a look. But we have arrived here. Uh, wow, that was a pretty decent drive. But really not too far. Now I think there was a shortcut or two. But we did have to go down a bunch of gravel roads. And I think just driving down... Uh, the uh, asphalt roads are a bit better so he said to put it in uh, the area the shed that had two walls and this seems to be it here so we we have arrived let's get it unloaded and then I think uh, I'll put the camera down and it looks like I was actually able to put the ramps down here just realized uh, we can't really do that but we were able to do it no problem which is definitely a good thing We'll get that raised up there. We actually have to raise up the uh, back and we'll just keep moving. Now the controls are opposite here so I do have to remember that as well as I can to get this unloaded. As that is happening let's kind of get rotated around here. It is always tricky uh, trying to do things here in farm sim. Kind of multitasking with the controls but uh, you guys can see wow one really really good job today. Yeah, here we go. So we'll just kind of put it right inside here in both excavators. I think he said the hydraulic pump on the other one uh, went, and this one just went in for regular service. And we'll just get this one dropped here. That should be good enough for us. And <laughs> that's pretty funny that the tracks uh, kind of continue to move there. But let's hop here in the old one. And although it is old, it is still a great workhorse here. You don't always need the latest and greatest brand new equipment uh, to use. And it looks like uh, there is a kind of a realistic collision here on it, which is kind of nice as well. And that's kind of interesting how you do this, uh, how it's designed where you just drive over the kind of the top of the tire. But that's overall pretty cool. You guys can see we got both excavators transported over here to the farmer and the job is complete. It was quite a lot of fun to haul both those excavators getting to use this brand new trailer and the Freightliner Cascadia. 
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more.